Hey, welcome back to episode 6 of the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. So, th in this episode, we're going to take on a one skull mission, since there's only one skulls left on this planet. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the barracks and look at our guys here. Looks like we got enough experience to move up in level here. Uh, still not sure which route I want to go here. So, sure footing is kind of okay. Um... I like the idea of having a lot of guys using Ace Pilot move in, move out, move in, move out. I think that's going to be kind of an advantage. The multi-targeting, I'm not convinced for this particular series is going to be as useful as it is in Rogue Tech. Um, not 100% sure on that yet. Um, as far as going down the bulwark line, uh, the damage reduction is awesome. Um, they've kind of uh, did some rework on ball work, which is kind of cool. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking that this is probably the route we want to go with a bunch of our guys having ball work on a lot of them. Um, and then tactics, of course, sensor lock is important. So, uh, the sensor lock is going to be on our long range boats, people who are firing either long range missiles or, you know, heavy auto cannons from a distance. Uh, so that's what that's going to be for. But as far as my main character goes, I'm not 100% sure yet. I, I like the idea of moving in and then moving back again. Um, like moving in, fire, the next turn, firing, and then moving out of, out of range. So I think that's my goal. I think for a lot of my frontline guys, at least two mech pilots I think are going to go this route. Now, as far as weapons fire goes, um, the, uh, the idea of breaching shot ignoring uh, cover and guarded state on the target is actually really good too. So um, that, I think, is going to be for my heavy assault mech. Whatever the heaviest guy is is going to probably go this route. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to put on piloting. I want to have fours across the board, so I do have options. Um, once again, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do on my main pilot yet. Um, Owl doesn't quite have enough experience for anything yet. Uh, Possum, we are going to bring piloting up. Um, just, I like the, uh, the idea of having the, un the unsteady threshold. And once again, since I'm not really sure which route we're, we're going to go, I'm not worried about spending the early XP on getting everybody up to fours here. Uh, Rhea, yeah, so we're going to bring this up to four, confirm that. And Shiv, we were saving it for gunnery. We want to get gunnery up to four first. We're going to confirm that. So our pilots are ready to go. So let's go to the contra contracts. And I think we're going to do supply lines today. Wolves is a nice idea. However, it's a defend the base in the jungle. And defend bases usually have a lot of guys attacking. So I'm not 100% sure I'm ready for that one yet, especially at one skull. So I think I'm going to take supply lines today. Then tomorrow I will move in and do wolves. So let's pull off supply lines. Um, this is just a battle in the jungle. And we're going to go for full salvage on this one again. And, uh, you know, pirate organization is not going to like us that very much. But once again, I'm not worried about that. I just need to get salvage. I need to get some mechs and stuff going. So let's accept this. And we're going to go with our standard lance again. Although, I think, yeah, I think I want to leave the uh, commando in. I like the idea of having extra firepower rather than more mobility right now. And until we get sensor locked, I don't think the spider is as useful as the uh, commando with the large laser. So we're going to just deploy. All right, here we go. Four units on the ground. Um, okay. So target units are up ahead. Jungle. I'm going to look. I haven't seen this map before, so I just want to get a look at the lay of the land here. I'm thinking maybe coming along this route. And then jumping up on top of the hill. Jungle here. Um, but we do have the nice hills over on this side. So let's go this route, I think. And once again, we want to keep everybody together. Confirmed. Okay, let's get everybody into here. And once again, we want to stay behind the hill as we move up. Affirmative. Yeah, I see ya. So let's just get everybody up here. All right, let's find out what they're doing. So cannon fodder's moving up. We're going to reserve. See if we can spot anybody else. So this is a one skull, so there's at least one full strength lance here. The mech coming in from this side. It's okay, he's behind the hill. 
All right, I'm going to reserve just to see if they've got it. No, they don't look like they got any medium guys. So uh, let's get our big heavy hitter up here. I'm just going to walk it up to here. Going to unload on this guy, Commando 1B again. Ah, uh, no armor, so. Chances are they're going to have reinforcements then. Ah, uh, maybe not. Who knows? It's hard to tell. Um, let's get our um, Panther up here first. Do I want to spot our second guy yet? Don't know. Let's move. Let's get the large laser on this guy. Oops. Okay, shiv. Stick a shiv in this guy. So we're still really well behind the hill here. Once again, like I was saying, I was the one to present too much of my, my front side to the enemy at the moment. Not until I know this guy's gonna die. Okay, Rhea. Let's go with um, Possum here. Ah, we gotta get it. A little closer than I want to get. Make sure our front is targeted to that guy so he spreads damage. Gonna fire everything on this guy. Ah, wasn't what I was hoping for. Okay, Rhea. So, uh, what's our chance to hit here? 65%. If we're in the open, 75. Let's go in the open and we'll move you first next turn. Oh, there's another guy back there. Okay, we got a locust here. Not too worried about that. We're gonna fire everything on this guy. This one with the PPC. Damn. Okay. Cool. Commando moving first. We're gonna move the Panther first. Ooh, everything's a miss. Nice. So, the Panther... I'm gonna do this with... Because we're going to start rotating to the right. Oh, they've got guys over here too. I was going to rotate to the right because I thought that maybe they had a couple guys back here. It looks like it's only one. So we may have just flown into a bee's nest here. But let's fire on this guy. Left leg, left torso. Pilot injured, knocked down. See what happens here. I think they're trying to get into the spores here. That's two injuries on the pilot. And we're not going to use Shiv, I don't think. Multi-target would come in handy, handy at this point, but once again, I'm thinking long-term. So we're going to move up here. 35 on him. Could finish this guy up, but I'm going to save him for Shiv. I'm going to fire on the Locust. All weapons are go. Okay, two hits. That's nice. I want to put a big shot on that guy. What do we got here? One B. How far is this guy going to go here? Interesting. Twenty left in the leg. So Shiv, I want you to finish up a guy over here. I don't want you in the open though. Let's get over here. Going to finish the guy up on the ground. Going to aim for the CT. Okay, so that's it for that guy. Hope we can salvage that. So pretty soon, once I get my once I get my uh, into myself into a routine here, I think I'm going to start going after um, putting some LRMs in for knockdown. I'm not sure who we're going to drop those into yet. We want to go the LRM route. We may have to put it in the Vindicator. I'm not sure. So let's get up here. Gonna target the locust with everything. Not good chances to hit, but I don't mind. Okay, another hit in the leg. And we're all inspired now to do something amazing. Damn. Alright. At least it's the Vindicator. The Vindicator can take it. Let's get, um... Yeah, we're going to start wheeling back this way now. Possum's going to come back. Going to fire on the um, locust in the water. Although this commando is a juicy target. 
Let's fire on the commando. Take this. Plus the locust in the water is bulwarked. There's no point in uh, firing on him right now. Huh? Okay. Um, Rhea next. If the locust fires, we're going to shoot on him. If not, then it's that commando again. is going to get a nice little taste of uh, a couple PPCs. Where are you going? Moon, walk in. Okay, thank you for firing. Appreciate that. Let's get our... See, I don't want to use the jump jets for just because of the heat, right? If I had a really cool build, then it's, there's definitely worth jumping, but I don't have a cool build, right? So it's just going to overheat. So let's fire on this guy. Should be able to kill him if we hit the CT. Nope. Panther. That's a new priority target. So Shiv's going to target the commando and then uh, Vindicator's going after the Panther. I see that. Orders. Um, I want you up here, please. I want you on the Panther. I copy. We get the torso. Ooh, I don't know. I want, to, I want to kill that commando, but I, I'm really thinking that this panther's got to go. I don't want that PPC kicking around. Uh, let's just fire right on him. Welcome to the party. Okay, sensors are impaired. Not that it matters. Here comes that commando. Please be meleeing. Nope. Ouch. Warning. Armor low. Yeah. I know. Thank you for that. That was a CT hit too, eh? Okay, Panther first. Let's move on to this side, please. Getting the trees, some stability back, firing on this Panther. He hasn't gone yet, so we want to try and get that uh, PPC out before uh, he does go. Yeah, going for that CT hit. AI's getting smart, that's for sure. Okay, uh, Possum, I think first, only because you got more chances to hit. Let's move over here. Yeah, crap. Well, we're going to fire three of them anyway. Ah, wrong side. What is it with shooting on the other side? Well, at least he's jumping. Uh-oh. Something's penned. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. I see that. Yes, Commander. Cannot lose a mech. Let's get you over here. Panther, please. 40% though. We can fire at everybody here. 65. Let's fire on this guy. Maybe we can kill him. For an alpha so that was a torso. 31. 79. Gonna jump it. Fifty-five. Twenty-five. Let's jump back. We want to have our left side facing these guys, so we're going to jump back here. I think I've fallen into the same trap of like moving too far forward again on these guys. I'm still thinking about Rogue Tech. Got to stop that. Okay, right torso gone. That should be the large laser, I think. Okay, who's moving first this time? Okay, the commando. I think he's a stick now. Nope. Every time I say that, I keep forgetting they got the uh, SRM2 in the center torso. Okay, next target. I hear you. Um, moving back here. Next target is Locust. Hasn't gone yet. We're going to fire... We can't fire everything. Fire three. 
Trying to get some fire suppression on him. He's probably going next. Yeah. Okay. Shiv is in the open, so let's move her back here. Move order received. Don't want to be standing in the open when these guys do fire. 40 and 30. 50 and 35. Let's try and finish this guy up. Oh my god, really? You've been doing so well. What's that panther doing? It's coming after the Vindicator, I think. Yep. That's what I do. Doesn't mean it's the right move, but that's what I do. Receiving you. Let's get you over here. 60. Let's go after this guy. Let's get that PPC on target, please. Not enough to destroy the leg, but looked like it was a solid leg hit anyway. Let's have a look and make sure it was a leg hit. A hit. Let's have a quick look here. It certainly was. Down to 20. Alright. Let's get some stability back. Keeping the right side turning towards them. Just going to walk back into the trees here. Sorry, going to moonwalk back into the trees. Because, you know, good like that. Uh, I could do an offensive push and try and push this guy back a turn so we can kill him. Let's do that. So we all, at least our main guys, go before this guy. I'm gonna try for a leg hit. Let's go after him. Okay, there goes the right torso. So we don't have to worry about the PPC anymore. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Unstable. Push back a turn. If we can take that leg. It'd be nice to have a panther part because I think we've got two parts already. Somebody's just being annoying now. No, let's get possum. Gonna walk it over here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. And we're gonna precision strike the panther. Ooh, both of his legs are damaged here. Let's go after this leg. We might be able to get leg and torso. Looks like we may have got the leg. And the CT. Damn. Well, at least there's one part in the ground. <sighs> They've blown past my armor. Calm down. Reporting. Let's get you here. Wow, ten percent, eh? It's too close, that's why. Forty thirty five, let's see if we can kill this guy. Nope. Because nope. Ready for orders. 30 and 30, 55, 55. Got it. Let's hopefully we let's hope we kill this guy. Wow, really? Oh, okay, there's a knockdown. Is he out cold? No. Because of course he's not. Why would he be? Not worried about him, but I'm worried about this guy firing everything. Whole lot of nothing. Yeah, moonwalking backwards. Does that actually save him any movement? Or is that just like they decided to animate it because he's backing up? I don't know. Okay, solid miss. So, what do these spores do again anyway? I can't really remember. I remember watching the, uh... Huh. Oh, right, that's sprinting, because I can't sprint and shoot. Gotta remember that. Stay in the water. Stay cool. And fire on this guy. I watched the uh, Hairbrain Screens demo, but I can't remember what the spores do. What can I do for you? Just get in the water. Give me the option for both. Firing four medium lasers Fire on this guy. Ugh, one hit. Oh, pilot injured, ammo destroyed. Did you see that? Did you see it? I did. 
And I watched him explode. Nice. Okay, Shiv. I don't even think you need to move. Just fire on this guy. Let's go for a leg shot. Or you could just shoot a CT. That works too. There it is, folks. No component lost. No arms lost. No legs lost. No lost. No love lost. Okay, four forty grand. Ah, uh, probably enough to repair us. So I got to still still thinking about how we're gonna do this here. Let's go next. Hopefully we get this panther part. We should actually we get everything I think. So let's grab the large laser and the heat sink, and then confirm. There we go. So looks like we got a commando uh, and a panther, which is excellent. And yeah. Nine R, nice. And the one B. Okay, so let's put the one B into storage, and we're gonna have a look at our mech bays real quick before we end the episode. And let's get the repairs done on the Vindicator. Let's get the repairs done on our Panther, and let's take our Commando out of service now. We don't need it. We're gonna have our Panther running, so we're gonna take the Commando out of service. So uh, let's just drop him straight out of here. And the Panther 9R, let's refit this guy, because I think I want to upgrade. Yeah, so let's go max armor. And we're going to probably drop a couple off the CT back, like this. Then we're going to do... Now, what has he got? He's got four laser points and a missile point in the CT. So we could go with an LRM and have this guy a long-range guy and go this route. Drop a couple heat sinks, probably. Well, we don't really need the heat sinks. How much does the LRM5 weigh? We need ammo still, too. Two tons. Hmm. Not sure. No point defense. So, once we drop the LRM ammo in. Still got a bit of space left. I can probably put it. I mean, we could leave it as a PPC in the arm. All right, we only got one missile point in the center. We can't go any more than that. Or maybe we pull out the large and drop in like one, two, three mediums. We'd have to add a few heat sinks. Let's go. Um, we got enough heat sinks. Do something like that, maybe. And then lose like a half a ton of armor. So this guy's our... He's not really a range boat now, though. So let's pull the LRM-10, then. Go back to weapons. Do we have any SRMs? We have an SRM-4. Um, let's check the store. See so what we've got in the store here. LRM-15. If we want to go for a long range boat, that's a possibility. Nothing else LRM-wise. Well, that's a lot of money. Um... So let's go with the SRM-4. Pretty close to the standard Panther build. SRM ammo, put it in the leg. So we, now we would have got here. Pretty heat neutral. Still got a bit of weight left. Um, we could go with one more medium laser. We don't have another medium laser. What are we going to do with two and a half tons though? Hmm. Still better to be this route though. How much is was there any medium lasers in the store? I was pretty sure there was. Sixty-six thousand. Let's buy another medium laser. And let's buy two heat sinks. I know we're spending a bunch of money here. But I want this guy in the lineup. Now we don't have we do have jump jets. That's the other thing too. Should have thought about that before I just bought those things. We could go with jump jets. They're a half ton of pop, so if we go one, two, three, just for a little bit of mobility, and then another heat sink. Right? Like that. What are we looking at here? J 
Jump heat is six heat on average. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good layout, I think. So let's confirm that. Right. I'll get it in the so that's the Panther 9. We got two Panther 9Rs now. So this spider. I mean it's woefully it's got a great um great mobility. But it's woefully under power with the two medium lasers. But there really isn't much we can do with this. Doesn't have really great armor. I mean, maybe let's just put this for now. Let's just put this in storage so we're not paying for it. We'll do that. Okay, how many days have we got here? 15 days. All right. So we'll end the episode here once we get to the 15 days. And when we come back with the next episode, there's our training module. Yeah, we're not. Um, when we come back next time, we have another... We're going to try that base defense mission, I think. I think now with th these mechs, I think we'll be okay. Our next tank is just about gone. Yeah, please stop. Please stop telling me that. I know. Somehow he thinks like I don't know how much cash we have. We're nearly broke, Commander. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, so next time when we come back, we do have one mission here we can take. Um, go to our contracts. So we've got the wolves. We're going to try this one. It's a base defense mission. And we'll give that a whirl. Hopefully we'll be able to easily get through that. Um, but until next time, if you like the video, please, please drop a like. Um, feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Also jump over and check out my Rogue Tech series, the Cold Forge series. Uh, right now I'm working on getting this series up to the same number of episodes as the other one. And then I'm going to be posting two per day with this series until... Um, we've caught up with Rogue Tech, then I'm going to be doing one a day with Rogue Tech. Um, just so we can see where we're at for the, compared to two um, um, different play styles. Um, and we're just going to go day by day just with the same number of episodes just to see how lo far along in progress each one gets. So that's the goal. Um, but anyway, until next time, I'll see you all later.